spreading my overlords around the map. I've got pretty good overlord placement. I can see where he's coming from, regardless of which route he takes. Applying more pressure with my speedlings here. I'm going to bring them forward, and as I bring up the speedlings, it's going to allow me to drone heavily. Building a decent amount of drones behind this to drone up my third. I want to get an idea of how far, or how hard he might be droning his third, because I figured he'd be taking it about the same time, which he was. So I'm going to poke in. See, he doesn't have any drones. I'm going to build some drones, but I'm actually going to also build some army. Because if he decides not to drone his third, and just decides to push, I want to make sure I have enough army to deal with him. But I am trying to split it a little bit, so I am getting drones and army, because I know I can reinforce if he pushes. And I know because of my baneling aggression and the speedling aggression early in the game, I've made him waste some minerals. Because I did get some of his drones and one of his queens. So I know I'm a little ahead right now. Getting Burrow. Plus one armor finishing up. I'm going to be getting plus two, plus two shortly. Little gas and mineral star at the moment. I have spent those back down significantly. Trying to keep tabs a little bit on what's going on with him. As you can see, he is actually starting to drone up here a little bit. And he is actually doing something a little different because he has built a Nidus Canal. And he's now in a Nidus into the back of my base. But the great thing about Nidus is, is they're really, really loud. Um, I actually don't see the Nidus go up initially. I didn't have anything spot there. Probably should have had an Overlord back there. I do hear the Nidus, though, and right away I immediately assume he's probably going for the back of my base. So I'm moving my whole army right away to intercept him. I see the army coming out. I'm going to engage him. I do have superior upgrades. I'm 1-1. He's only 0-1 because he's had to waste some. I recall my speedlings that I was having to go check his third again. I'm going to use those to snipe the Nidus Canal because I don't want him to be able to reinforce. I have an overseer with my army so he can't burrow. I know he doesn't have it, but I didn't know he didn't have it. I know clean up that army with my superior upgrades pretty easily. And now that's going to be my cue to start teching more, droning more. Because now I know that I've just destroyed his whole army. So that means I have a superior army to him right now. Got my 2-2 upgrades going. I'm going to try and time these so I can start 3-3 right as my hive finishes. Starting hive about halfway through the upgrades will do that for you. In case you were wondering about the timings. Uh, a little bit of a miss rally with a couple of my units. No big deal. Back at his base you can see he's building a ton of roaches. He's really gas starved right now. He does. He is running off of six gas, but he's having to rebuild his whole army because he just lost it. So he's having to and he doesn't feel like he can build speedlings because I ended up going banely anyway. So he can't really spend down the minerals too easily. He doesn't have map control. Um, he can't build speedlings to deal with my speedlings. He is going to try and take a fourth to try and catch up a little bit here. Especially since he is so gas starved. I'm taking my fourth base at the goal because I feel like I have map control. Moving a couple banelings forward just in case he tries any kind of speedling type of stuff. Um, I do see his army. So it does prompt me to stop um, teching and droning for just a second. Because I can spot it with this Overlord because he doesn't have any Hydralis with it right now. Because he just went for the cheaper Roaches to try and build it up faster. His Roaches are 1-1. One, one. Mine are 2-1, about to be 2-2 two, two now. They are now 2-2, two, two, just finished. Um, I could have started 3-3 three, three right away. I forgot about it, to be totally honest. I was floating some minerals as a result of it. I still am teching behind this though, I'm getting my Spire because I want to go to Greater Spire. Could have built the Spire a little sooner. So I could have gone straight to Greater Spire when the high pop. Just come kind of a little nuanced timings. Here we have a battle going on. Rebuilding Roaches and Hydras behind this. My Roach Hydra army, Spear upgrades plus Roach Hydra, cleans up pure Roach. Hydra just do so much damage when they have the Roaches to act as a meat shield. I'm going to easily crush this army. I could push it at this point, but I decide not to. Um, probably should have sniped his fourth at least. But he doesn't have any drones at it anyway, so it really wouldn't have mattered. I do see him reinforcing right away, so I decided to pull back. 
Run, Roaches, run, run, run away. I know I have Greater Spire coming, uh, because I was doing macro stuff behind this push. I wasn't really paying attention to it. I was just glancing at the minimap. So I decide I'm going to wait. I've got my 3-3 started. Would have been nice if I would have started sooner, because it would have been finishing about, you know, a good 30 seconds sooner than it's going to. Greater Spire going down. That, once again, could have been almost done. So some little nuanced timings I would have liked to clean up a little bit. Haven't saturated my gold yet. Um, pretty sure, yeah, and I'm transferring drones there right now. He's going to try and poke up and attack my gold base. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard for him to get much done. My army is much larger than his at this point. Look at the resources. I'm at 175. He's at 138. Just kind of barely hanging in. Income-wise, I'm up to 57 drones right now. I would like that to be a little bit higher. 70 to 80 is kind of more my comfort zone. But he's been trying to apply a lot of pressure, like with that Nidus and such forth, so... Just trying to play it safe. Broodlord's morphing in now. I was making sure I kept some supply for the Broodlords. Filling up the rest of the supply that I was short with the Roaches. Waiting on my 3-3 right now and the Broodlords to move out. His army's actually going to poke up and I see his army's poking up. So while I could wait to push with the Broodlords, um, because I know he's been going so Roach heavy and so Hydra light, um, even though he's a little heavier on Hydras now, um, I felt pretty safe to just send the Broodlords towards his um, natural and use this army actually to clean up. So I was waiting for him to engage my third, so that I could come for my fourth, uh, cut the army off, and surround it and kill it. Would have liked to have gotten there a little sooner so he didn't actually snipe the hatch, but... A little bit of a misclick here. I told them to attack, but his army moved, so... Dumb army needed to be babysat. I was watching my Broodlords for a second, I was checking in to make sure that I was sniping out the Hydralis. Because once the Hydras are dead, the Broodlords are pretty much safe. There's no way they're going to get killed. Uh, meanwhile, back up here, cleaning up his army. Easy cheesy. Superior upgrades. My 3 3 is about to kick in. He is only uh, 2 1 at this point. He's trying his best to just fend off the Broodlords. It's basically GG at this point. As soon as I got the Broodlords up and he had no way to deal with them, really, this game was pretty much over. Sniping his Evo. Basically, A, moving my army in, re rallying my hatcheries to his base. I'm just going to build all my reinforcements as I lose army to his base. But he actually GG's before I even have to do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helps some people out who may be a little more visual than actually reading through a post. Um, I think it's a pretty good way to play ZVZ. Obviously, some of my timings could have been a little cleaner. Um, I don't claim to be perfect. I'm a little sub-masters level, more like diamond level right now. Obviously, since I'm playing diamond players. Um, little things that could be cleaned up, obviously. A uh, little better uh, timing with the 3-3. Three, three. A little bit faster third would have been good. Uh, so just little stuff like that, but I think it shows the power of actually um, not canceling that bailing nest and getting the bailing nest up just so that you can threaten those speedlings. And if your opponent doesn't get bailings, you actually can be the aggressor and you can really dictate the pace of the game. You can slow your opponent down, force him to build all these type of static defense type of things. Force him to build more army earlier than just droning heavy. It allows you to drone really, really heavy because you're safe from the speedlings. Because um, even static defenses really won't 100% save you from speedlings. You have to have army to actually deal with them. So, basic way I like to play ZVZ. Hope it helps some people out. This is going to be Ken Nursky Decker saying peace easy. Until next time, guys.